Hey, it's at the Rough Country. Installation for our Ford offset control arms is a straightforward bolt-on process, and the first step we're gonna do is remove the factory control arms. We'll start this process by first removing the wheels and tires. We're going to remove the axle nut. We're gonna allow for a little playroom with the axle, that way we can get our ball joints out. Next, we're gonna remove the two bolts that are holding the brake caliper, that way we can get it out of the way. Now we're going to unbolt the upper control arm, that way we can get the ball joint out. Same thing on the bottom, we're gonna remove the nut here so we can get the lower ball joint out. With freeing up the axle like we did earlier, this allows us to pull the hub slightly off, that way we can have plenty of playroom to get both ball joints uninstalled with the control arms. Now we are going to disconnect the sway bar link from the upper control arm. And we're gonna do the same thing to the shock. Now with all the different components disconnected, we're gonna take the upper control arm completely off the frame. And the same with the lower control arm. Now to get our Rough Country control arms ready for install, we're going to first put the bushings in, then put the sleeve in, and finish off with installing the grease alamites. Just like we took them out, we're gonna put the bolts and all the hardware back in, starting with the lower control arm, mounting it to the frame. After doing that, we're going to put the lower control arm ball joint back into its mount and put the nut back onto the bolt. Now we are going to put the axle back into place, adding the axle nut to tighten it down. Next, we're going to put the upper control arm and mount it back onto the UTV frame. and finishing off the upper control arm with getting the ball joint back into place and it may need a little finessing. Now that we've got the upper control arm mounted back to the hub, next we're going to reconnect the sway bar link with the appropriate hardware. And to finish off getting this upper control arm on, we're gonna put our vertex shock back into its mount. Before we put the wheel and tire back on, we're gonna reassemble the brake caliper to the hub. And make sure after you put your brake caliper back on, you get your zip ties and make sure to zip tie your brake line to the upper control arm to keep it out of the way from the axle. Make sure you grease your bushings and ball joints before putting your wheel and tires back onto the machine. And the last step is to get our wheel and tire mounted back onto the hub. And just like that, we have our two inch Ford offset high clearance control arms installed on this Polaris Ranger. And as you can see, the difference it makes in regards to the Ford offset as we're running these 30 inch tires, you can get the same setup for your Polaris Ranger at roughcountry.com.